Hi and welcome to a video tutorial of Quark PA Manager. In this tutorial we will quickly explore the PCM Manager and the File Viewer. Let's begin with the PCM Manager. Previous users of Quark PA Manager will know about Wave Extractor. Wave Extractor was previously bundled with Quark PA Manager. However, with version 2 this is no longer the case. As a result, we now have a light replacement of Wave Extractor called the PCM Manager. Wave Extractor is a great software which allows us to audition and extract raw wave data from Quark PCM and KMP files, Yamaha Tyros files and sound font samples. Those interested can still purchase their license or try out the free demo by visiting waveextractor.com. Let's load a set into the PCM Manager. This will load all available PCM files. PCM files are part of Quark PA sets. These files contain all the user sample data. Here, you simply go through the list to preview any sounds you like. The PCM Manager can also detect USB locked PCM samples and PA3X compressed samples. However, you will not be able to audition or export them. These types of files will normally have a star at the end of the name, such as the PCM example here. If you like a sound and would like to save it, click on the export button here and this will export all of the samples contained in the selected PCM bank. Here we have a folder created with the name of the PCM and inside you'll find all the exported WAV files. If you want to use sounds from the PA in other productive areas, then the PCM manager is perhaps the first step towards new creativity. That was the PCM manager. Now let's quickly explore the file viewer. The file viewer is a very quick way of viewing the contents of a set without having to load the whole set on any of the other managers. It's quick because it doesn't have to load all of the parameters and settings and only loads the names. Let's load something in and try it out. You can either drag a single file, multiple files or a whole folder. Let's take a look for example what's inside these pad files. Or let's take a look at our sounds. We can just drag the whole sound folder. Clicking on each item will reveal more details about its version and target keyboard model at the bottom here. Or instead we can save all of this as a report by clicking the generate report button here. This just saved a text file. Let's take a look. Inside we have all of the items listed in a single report. OK, so one final new feature with the file viewer is the ability to associate files with it directly at startup. So let's close everything and open our set and double click on any of the files. Depending on the file, the corresponding manager would normally load up. So the style manager would open style files, the performance manager would open the performance files, etc, etc. Now, however, let's right click on the file viewer and select the file association option. Close Quark PA Manager. Now, when we double click a file, it will automatically load up with the file viewer as a separate application. It's like having Quark PA Manager on one side and the file viewer on the other. If you don't like this workflow, simply uncheck the file association and everything will revert back to normal. Well, that was the PCM Manager and the File Viewer. See you guys soon.